what's going on everybody? Dale Baller here with another MVD exclusive video. So listen, one of the things that come up from time to time uh, that I really wanted to address, man, because I really haven't seen a lot of content on this is when to go monk mode, okay? What is monk mode? Monk mode is basically where you're kind of just, you know, you're done with dating for a little bit, okay? It's not a MGTOW thing where you're going your own way or anything like that. What it is essentially is, I gotta take some time out for myself. And as a dating coach, okay? You know, I mean, it almost seems counterintuitive to say, take a break from dating. You know, it's like McDonald's being like, Hey man, you need to lay off those Big Macs a little bit. <laughs> why, don't you got, why don't you get a salad from somewhere or something like that? But look, here's the deal, man. I, I try to keep it real with you. I try to be legit and authentic with everything that I say, man. I, I don't want to pull any punches. I want to give you the best information that I can possibly give you to help you better yourself. And some times going monk mode might be the right call. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna touch on it, give you my thoughts, and let you decide for yourself, is it time to take a step away from dating for a little bit so you can get better, level up, and hit it full force, right? All right, so we're gonna get into it right now. Let's go. Number one, when you're dating the wrong women. What do I mean by that? Okay, look, you know your dating experience. You know the kind of girls that you've been kicking it with. You know the type of women that you've attracted into your life if it's good for you or not. Is there a common thread to where you're bringing in women that just are counterproductive to what it is that you're trying to do in life. You know, maybe you're attracting the type of women that are partiers, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that inherently, but the problem is, is that if you're the type of guy that's driven and motivated and you're trying to start a business, you know, you're an entrepreneur, you got a lot of things on your plate and stuff like that, and you just can't, you know, get home at 4 a.m. to turn around and get up at 6, okay? It just doesn't fit, right? Because, well, you're going to be exhausted for one. For two, you're not going to be able to keep up with that kind of pace. You know, you're just not going to. So the thing is, if you're attracting those types of women, why are you attracting those types? of women you know so it could be beneficial for you to take a step back and to say okay why are these women in my life what about me or the places that I'm going and the, and the women that I'm meeting why am I meeting these types of women okay now think of it like this this is one of the things that you usually see from a woman's perspective okay or at least I do and I'm, I'm pretty sure that your experience is probably the same too but it's like Women complain about the types of guys that they date and that they attract, right? And they can't figure it out. How come I always go for the bad boy when I really want a nice guy? But I don't really want a nice guy. I want a bad boy, right? You see that trope <laughs> everywhere, okay? And you're no different. Just because you're a guy doesn't mean that you're any different in that regard. You may be attracting the wrong type of women into your life that's keeping you back, holding you down, and you can't figure out why. That might be a reason to take a step back and just reevaluate why you're attracting them, how you're attracting them, and where to find the types of women that are going to make more sense for you, your schedule, your lifestyle, and who you are as an individual. All right, we're gonna get number two, let's go. Number two, your life is in shambles, all right? So look, man, say uh, for instance, you just got a chaotic life going on, man. You know, your, your car's about to break down, you just lost your job, nothing is coming together, you're just having a bad, you know, rough patch, just a, just a hard time of, of living right now. And look, sometimes that happens, man. I mean, you know, life is what it is. There's some, sometimes there's circumstances that are out of our control that just propel us into some kind of just bizarro world of just everything going wrong, all right? Another thing might be, too, is that, look, maybe you are addicted to some kind of substances. Maybe you're uh, dealing with alcoholism or uh, heroin. Who knows, man? And your life is just a mess. Okay, that needs to take precedence over trying to kick it, all right? Now, 
I'm all for kicking it. All right, I, I am, <laughs> okay? But at a certain point in time, there's other things that are just more important, you know, and just prioritizing your life and getting it together. And if that is holding you back from being able to do that, then that's what you need to do is take, take it by the horns, man, and wrestle that thing to the ground and start getting your life back. Start being able to level up in different areas of your life. And it's not that you have to be at the top of the mountain to be able to date. That isn't it. But you know in your heart of hearts, if you're being honest with yourself, if your life is not where it needs to be and you're spending so much time and allocating so much energy to attracting women, then it's just leaving you little time to get your life back on track. And only you know the answer to that. But I would argue that, look, if that's you, you need to probably take a step back, take a step away from dating for a while, get your life together, and then get back at it, okay? I mean, every circumstance is a little bit different. It might take you a month. It might take you a year. It might take you three years. It might take you... 10 minutes, I, you know, every circumstance is different. But if that is something that's hampering you and dating is getting in the way of that and probably making it worse, then do that. Take that step back, get your life together, then let's talk, all right? And listen guys, if you have done monk mode before where you took the time out for yourself to get a few things in order, get your house in order, before you can start having women in it, <laughs> let me know, put it in the comments. I'd love to have that conversation with you if you've done that. If you haven't done it and you think that you should, why haven't you? I'd like to hear that too. So drop those in the comments. Let's have a conversation. We're gonna hop into number three. Let's get it. Hey, listen guys, wanted to take this quick time out just to remind you. Look, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. We don't want you to miss out on any of the great content, the information that we're putting out there that can be beneficial for you today. Also, share it with somebody that you know needs to see this information. And in addition, man, make sure that you hit the thumbs up. We always like you to comment, all that kind of thing. You know the deal. And in addition to all of that, make sure that you join us September 25th for our live Zoom event. We do one on the last Saturday of every month. It's always a great time. We always go super deep on a topic. And this month, what we're going to be talking about is sexual mastery. All right, how to really get down. You know what I'm saying? So here's the deal, register for the event and just show up. It's 100% free, you got nothing to lose. It's a great time, bring some questions with you. We always do a great Q&A session. So look, I'll see you there. Number three, physical and mental health. Okay, look, now I have been guilty of this in the past where I let my ambition with trying to get with women step in the way of my own personal physical goals, okay? In other words, I'm tired for being out late last night. I'm not going to the gym, <laughs> okay? <laughs> that basically is the summary of it. So the thing is, if you think that your uh, your physical health is taking a, it's taking a toll because, you know, you're out late, you're always out and about, you're always trying to kick it and things like that, and um, approaching women here, there, and everywhere, and it's keeping you from a good diet. It's keeping you from getting uh, the proper amount of sleep that you need. Now, every once in a while, okay, fine, right? You know, like, okay, you're running on low sleep. Eh, you know, like every once in a while, that's okay. But if it's a consistent thing where it's really affecting you, and you know if it is or it isn't, okay? But if it's a consistent thing where it's always affecting you, Man, you might want to rethink this. At least your strategy, or at least prioritize your time. This one I don't take as in much consideration as I do the other two points. But the thing is, you can kind of fix it and, you know, kind of on the, almost on the fly, all right? Uh, setting aside time to go to the gym, disciplining yourself uh, for all those things, you know, you can do that, all right? You might not have to take off a bunch of time from dating to do it. But if you do need to do that and start getting into a routine, then do that. But the thing is with your mental health, 
if you find that going out and approaching and things like that is wearing you down mentally, why? Why is it wearing you down so much? Are you putting too much pressure on yourself? Are you being so results oriented that, you know, if you don't get the results that you're looking for, that it depresses you? You know, things like that, man. I would argue it would be a good move to maybe take a step back and to see like, why do I need this so much? You know, why am I being so needy in my results that I like, I need this validation. You know, if I'm, if I don't have a girl attracted to me or multiple women that are in my life, then I feel like I'm not as much of a man or something like that. If you have that type of feeling, look, dude, address it. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of different ways to do that. You know, like we have plenty of uh, content on this channel that help you address that. But the thing is, at the end of the day, man, if you've got to take a step away to start getting your mental health in order, then do that. If you need to take additional steps, you know, if you need to see somebody, if you need a counselor or a therapist or something of that nature, then do it, man. Don't let pride or ego or anything else get in the way of you being, well, the best you that you can be. And oftentimes, man, almost every time that starts here, right? So look, man, um, if you need to do a little monk mode, uh, just to get your life back, to kind of do a reset, that type of thing, then do it, okay? Don't say, you know, fear of missing out, right? You got to get yourself together. Because, I mean, ultimately, yeah, okay, you might get a girl here or there and things like that, but that's, I mean, that's almost a thing of quantity over quality. You know what I mean? So listen, guys, we talked in this video about your life being in shambles. And oftentimes, that is a result of not planning not being able to set a schedule, not sticking by a schedule if you do make it, you know, those types of things. Well, listen, we put together a whole video series on improving your life, your lifestyle, lifestyle design, okay? So what I want you to do is, I want you to go check out the first video in that series and work your way through, man. And if there's things in there that speak to you about changes that you need to make or you don't even know what changes you need to make. It's probably going to prompt you uh, to start making some of the changes. It's going to hip you to them, and you can start working on it today. Okay, you don't have to put it off. All right, so go check out that video, watch the series, and I will see you there.